Thank you all for tuning in today on KU Radio Science Podcast. If you're new, make sure that you give us a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel so you never miss out on another episode. We're back again for UAE Innovation Month, where we are celebrating the groundbreaking innovators and highlighting their creative success stories. So today we have Dr. Yahya Zweri. It's so nice to have you here today with us. Can you tell us more about yourself? Yeah, thank you very much, Karen, for this opportunity. My name is Yahya Zweri. I am the director of the Advanced Research and Innovation Center. Also, I am professor within the aerospace department. Awesome. Thank you so much for being here. We know that you're really busy and that you're working on a lot of interesting things. It's my pleasure. So this month is UAE Innovation Month, and we want to talk a bit more about that, about more, you know, what you're doing, what the department's doing, and what Khalifa University is doing. So first up, we want to know what is Khalifa University's approach to human capital development, and how is it preparing UAE nationals to take on leadership roles within the advanced technology sectors? Thank you very much for this question. Of course, Khalifa University has three pillars. Uh, the first pillar about, of course, high quality teaching. The second pillar about intensive research activity. And the third pillar to translate the research to innovation, technology, and entrepreneurship. Now, how Khalifa University is doing this? First of all, focusing on key uh, areas like artificial intelligence, cybersecurity, robotics, 2D material, and other subjects, they are advanced and try to equip our students and postgraduate students with those competences in order to contribute on the advanced technology needed by the UAE industry and to contribute also toward the knowledge economy as an overall. What ways uh, does Khalifa University contribute to the development of intellectual capital within the UAE and how does this impact the broader innovation ecosystem? Thank you very much. As you know, also Khalifa University uh, overall strategy being driven by the UAE strategy in terms of research. And we would like to be, of course, an icon or upfront in those activities. So Khalifa University tried to mechanize how to translate the research outcome to innovation and technology in order to play a role in the ecosystem of UAE and to support, of course, of the, what we call the intellectual capital outputs. So you mentioned when we were previously discussing this podcast, you mentioned Drone Leaf as a case study. Could you walk us through its journey from being a concept at KU and how it became a market viable product? Thank you very much. Uh, regarding Drone Leaf, uh, this, of course, company has been translated from the research centers of Khalifa University. And this is in line with Khalifa University strategy regarding go from lab to market. Now, in, to give you glances, what we have been through, first of all, of course, you have to have innovative idea out of your research and should be also niche and there is a need for it. The first step we, we did, we went through incubator within Khalifa Innovation Center and we have been supported immensely. We pitch our ideas to uh, uh, like investors and other people, they give us feedback for almost one. Then after that, we got a support from KIC in order for us to further develop the outcome, what we got from the research centers to the uh, practical solutions. We went through this cycle. Then we went to further step, which is Khalifa University Enterprises Company, which is the third layer, once you are successful you're going this through the first stage and you have by commercial viability, then we got also support from there. We have outreach for customers by them and we have secured about four contracts with the clients in UAE. And I hope also within this year, we will support also companies from outside. Awesome. So I wanted to ask, we have, I mean, our, our programs here at KU are very specialized. They're in robotics and engineering and mathematics. How are we then, um, how are we attracting students who have no idea about entrepreneurship, who have no idea about the business side of things and telling them, okay, you need to, ha this is the steps that you can take to come through KIC and to turn your idea into a commercial, a commercial product. 
Yeah, I think uh, for the new generation, they are smart. They are like uh, having uh, maybe outreach via the media. They know uh, most of them what they have to do, what the uh, market feasibility within UAE and what field they have to undertake in order to have more employability. The university has uh, many steps, starting from when the students, they are at school. So we have outreach program from the university going to the schools, showing them what we are doing and what the potential market also for their degree once they will finish with us. Either this is for employability or this degree could be a potential for innovation or to continue as a researcher in high uh, or postgraduate studies. This is one element. The other element within our curricula also during our coursework, we try also to expose the students for the importance of not seeking only jobs, but contributing toward the improving the employability via startup or in, in, in interacting with the industrial solutions in order to be in the upper front contributing toward a knowledge economy rather than waiting for a job to do. The other element also we have for every undergraduate student, we have senior design project. Most of the time, how we do it, we do it with our industrial park. So we try to link them right from the beginning while they are at the university with the needs of our industrial partners. If they came up with the innovative idea within their senior design project, then they can spin this as, as a company out of it. Or they can find easy job for them to do within those prospective uh, uh, companies. The third layer, once they will become postgraduate students, they become more deep in advanced technology. And of course, what we are waiting from them now, not to go to do maintenance in the, in the, in the, in the, in the industry, rather we want them to improve, enhance, and to come up also with innovative solutions for the advanced technology we are doing at UAE, especially for aerospace, industry, robotics, and cybersecurity. This layer, of course, will book the students for the advanced uh, 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 research level in order to develop uh, high-tech, cutting-edge, competitive solutions compared with other solutions worldwide. Absolutely. I think that's a really good point you made about this generation because I feel like more than any other generation, this generation, they are the ones who want to be at the forefront of having their own businesses. And I think it's great that KU offers this opportunity for them with the industrial partners. So which partners exactly do we have that we would say, okay, if you are in the sector, who, who should they go to? Who comes in for these outreach programs? Yeah, I think the industrial partner with us, uh, mainly Mubadil first with uh, subsidiary companies under of this, uh, maybe subsidiary we have uh, Mubadil Health, we have Senat Aerotech, we have Strata, also, we have Hub 71, which is another layer also for innovation. So we have uh, Dubai Future Lab and we have other entities, defense entities also within UAE where they encourage our students to go further step toward this. Great. That's great. So going back now to Dronely, how is Khalifa University posi positioning itself at the forefront of the knowledge economy? And what role does the university play in bridging the gap between academia and the industry? Yeah, frankly speaking, Karen, this is not an easy job. But uh, this challenge uh, took at Khalifa University as an opportunity. And we want to be uh, promoting this idea, which is being maybe done in other countries, like the United States in Stanford or MIT, back in UK in Cambridge. We want to be the uh, forefront in promoting this type of a translating research to solutions to start up in MENA region and also to be worldwide, maybe shortly within five years. Now, how Khalifa University mechanized this? Of course, they put all the rules and the strategy and the support resources needed for it. By the KIC, as, uh, as I have said, also KUAC, this is very important. Also the support what we got from the other management in order for us to translate our research and to see this one has an impact. Also, I will repeat the word of impact. We are not researchers doing research to be shelf on the shelves. Rather, we have an impact. At the same time, we are university doing high quality research, translated for deep tech, unicorn, advanced technology, 
in order also to impact the economy as I have said previously. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Yahya, for your time. We really appreciate you being here. And uh, hopefully we can have you again on the show. Thank you very much. Maybe I have last statement to say for our students. So to take this opportunity seriously for all the support and the resources they have from the university and from the country, uh, they are taking this is very serious, but I want them more seriously also in order to progress in the advanced technology and to see uh, UAE and the upper front of uh, uh, or upper front worldwide in advanced technology by 2030. Well, thank you again so much, Dr. Yahya. We appreciate you being here. And we know that you're going to keep doing amazing things, being at the forefront of the department. Thank you all so much for tuning in to today's episode. Stay tuned as we're going to be releasing another one for UAE Innovation Month. If you're new to our channel, please make sure that you hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so that you never miss out on an episode. We'll see you again soon.